tell me and uh, tell the viewers why you think it was important for you to do at least one more term. You know, we um, we accomplished a lot during my first term. Um, a couple of the major priorities of second ward residents as well as the rest of the Hoboken were, were things like Washington Street and infrastructure. Um, we completed Washington Street. We completed a, a, trend, or a, a new contract with Suez um, that not only will improve all of our water infrastructure, but also saves taxpayers $30 million, which is huge. But I just think there's still so much more to do. We, uh, I think one of the biggest pressures in our community is, is uh, development pressure. Um, we clearly have a lot of uh, potential development in our community that ripples through a lot of other uh, main priorities of residents, including overcrowding and um, and uh, pedestrian safety. So many cars on the road. You know the growth and enrollment in our schools and and the need for uh, more facilities, more school buildings. So there's just more to do, and, and I feel like I want to keep doing it on behalf of uh, the people who elected me. Yeah, uh, your opponent has expressed concern over the fact that you're not able to vote on the Bader contract, or sorry, project. And, uh, you know, obviously that she's put out a mail or it, that's made one of her campaign staples, I guess you could say. So just tell me uh, your thoughts on the project and what's happening there going forward. Sure. And, you know, in the first instance, I, uh, I actually find it very funny because I've been very transparent from the very beginning about my role on Monarch. I've been fighting. I was the lead private individual fighting the monarch since 2011, and I continue to fight, and I continue to advocate, and I always will. I think with that project, last time when a settlement was proposed, it really pitted two areas of Hoboken against each other. And had it had better communication and maybe even an overall better um, trade, I think we would have seen more uh, support. But in fact, that that had, the entire city council voted against it. I think, you know, my understanding is the mayor has been working very closely with Applied on coming up with a settlement that will allow us to protect the waterfront, which I think most people in public want to do. And the settlement involves a development at the DPW site, which already has a development plan in place. I think the devil will be in the details. But if we come up with something that makes sense broadly for Hoboken weighing out the benefits of the waterfront and the, and the general benefits uh, relating to the development of the DPW, I think we, we should be able to find something that's successful for everyone. Uh, it looks like New York Waterway is extremely intent on having that refueling station come to that area of uh, the waterfront. And obviously a lot of Hoboken residents, including yourself and the mayor, have expressed discontent with that. And, you know, they've made their arguments, you guys have made yours. Just uh, where do you think that project's going and what would you like to see? You know, what I would like to see, just like Monarch, is I would like to see that space not used for private purpose purposes. We we really missed our opportunity um, under the prior mayor. It wasn't her priority. Um, I appreciate all the efforts that uh, Mayor Bala has made to, to make this a priority for our community, um, the efforts that he's made with Trenton, with Governor Murphy. Um, I, I think our, you know, we're in a tough spot. Um, so I would like to see the fight continue. That said, I also don't want to miss the opportunity to make sure that if something ends up happening on that site that's not what we want, we at least make sure that it reflects the best possible outcome for the residents of Hoboken.